Look out oh. below! Look oh out my below. lord! It's never gonna end, is it? LeBron's reign over the NBA. I've just come to the conclusion that LeBron has hacked into the Matrix and has transcended aging. LeBron is in his 19th NBA season and is somehow still one of the best players on the planet. This isn't supposed to happen. 99% of NBA players peak in their mid to late 20s and then slowly regress as they age, eventually becoming a liability to their team and inevitably sailing off into the sunset washed up and content with their achievements. But not LeBron. The man is fighting his age like he's got a grudge on time itself. And the more he piles up on these mind-bending feats, the more we must ask ourselves the question, and I really hate to do this, but is LeBron the greatest basketball player of all time? And if he isn't, what would he need to do to truly, once and for all, be the GOAT? About five years ago, I uploaded my first basketball-related video onto this channel. The title of that video is LeBron the GOAT. You can still watch this video today, but since it's an absolute dog water of a production, I highly recommend you steer clear of it. To summarize the video, I gave 10 reasons why LeBron would retire as the GOAT. Fast forward five years and thousands of hours of watching games, collecting data, and gathering context in this sport that we love. I've since changed my ways and realized that Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. But my original assessment from five years ago hasn't completely changed because I never said LeBron was the GOAT at the time. I just gave 10 reasons why LeBron would retire as the GOAT. But ever since I dropped that video, I've pretty much avoided the GOAT conversation altogether. I've put a spin on the idea of the greatest players in certain aspects of the game. I've talked about the greatest scores. I've ranked players using purely numbers, but I've never really broken down who the greatest player is, in my opinion, because I just feel like the topic is a bit redundant, and ESPN already gives you a daily update on the GOAT debate anyways, so no need for me to do it. But I think it's time we actually discuss this, because what LeBron is doing at this point in his career is just absurd. At the moment, there are pretty much three different camps on the whole GOAT debate. People who think Michael Jordan is the GOAT, people who think LeBron is the GOAT, and people who are wrong. I'm just joking, of course, but not really. I'd say about 75% of people fall into the MJ's the GOAT category, about 20% of people fall into the LeBron's the GOAT category, and about 5% fall into the other category. Usually these other fans believe the GOAT is Wilt or Kobe or Kareem. There's not many of them, but boy, will they die on that hill. See, the thing here is that a lot of the fans in MJ's corner believe that he is and will forever be the GOAT. But realistically, is there anything LeBron can do to surpass him? I mean, there's gotta be some sort of objective metric we can use to distinguish the greatest player of all time. No opinions, no bias, just the facts. If LeBron somehow won four more championships and retired with eight rings, he'd undoubtedly be the GOAT, right? So there are paths for him to become the greatest ever, but where does that threshold lie and what would LeBron have to achieve to get there? First, let's just take a look at the basic numbers. Between Michael and LeBron, LeBron has more career points, rebounds, assists, blocks, more triple doubles, higher field goal percentage, and a higher three point percentage. And Michael has more steals and a higher free throw percentage. But this whole argument, the career totals argument, is only useful in demonstrating LeBron's longevity and sustained excellence. These numbers don't prove that LeBron's a better scorer or rebounder or defender or shooter than Jordan. They just prove that LeBron's been good at these things for a very, very long time. These numbers also show just how versatile LeBron is, possibly his most valuable asset. So instead of looking at career totals, let's look at career averages. Michael averages more points and more steals, and LeBron averages more assists and more rebounds. And as much as it pains me to say this, this is usually where the argument for the GOAT ends for most people. Throw in a required comment about their finals records and you pretty much have a condensed version of most GOAT debates. But there is so much more to unpack here. So let's unpack it. So y'all know how much I like advanced stats. They don't tell the full story, but if you know which ones to look for, you can discover some nuances in a player's game that you won't get by just watching them play. 
player efficiency rating, win shares per 48, offensive box plus minus, defensive box plus minus, value over replacement, and true shooting percentage. These six advanced stats give us efficiency, production, value, impact, and pretty much everything in between. And in these six advanced statistics, Michael Jordan exceeds LeBron in five of them. He's more efficient overall. He contributes to more wins. He contributes to more points. He's better on defense, and he is generally more valuable on the court than LeBron is. The only advanced stat where LeBron tops Jordan is true shooting percentage. Now, in terms of who's a better basketball player, nearly every metric points to Michael Jordan. But really take a look at these numbers, and it's actually uncanny just how close LeBron is to MJ across the board just a fraction behind Jordan in pretty much everything. But these numbers aren't even addressing who's greater, because that conversation would involve accolades and accomplishments and impact on the game. Take away the rings, the influence, the intangibles, the opinions, and